time. Sugar Ray is scheduled to celebrate his 37th birthday this coming Friday. And it will be interesting to see whether he can run off from some deep reservoir and pull out some of his old speed and punch to upend. And of course, it would be ranked as an upset the young, tough, dedicated boxer who is now the middleweight champion of the world after taking the title from Sugar Ray last January and what was another great Wednesday night fight. And ladies and gentlemen, the former world's welterweight champion, here is Kid Gavilon. And ladies and gentlemen, here at ringside with us, and we'd like to get him up here to take a bow, Chicago's all-time fighting favorite, the former world's lightweight welterweight champion of the world, here he is, Barney Ross. And ladies and gentlemen, speaking about welterweight champions, here's a great fighting champion from Canastota, New York, the world's welterweight champion, Carmen Basilio. And now, and now, adjectives cannot describe this next gentleman. A great credit to boxing, the former world's heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Lewis. Waiting now for the gloves to be put on the two battlers to the satisfaction of uh, both their own handlers and the representative from the opposite. This, corner. ladies and gentlemen, is the feature bout of the evening. Licensed and supervised by the Illinois State Athletic Commission, a member of the National Boxing Association, matched by the International Boxing Club, James Dean, president. Feature bout of the evening, 15 rounds with a middleweight championship of the world at stake. Ring officials have been appointed here by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. Judges are Frank Clark and Jim McManus, the timekeeper Bob Klaus, counting for the knockdowns at the bell, Mike Murphy, the attending ringside physicians, Dr. Irving E. Slot, Dr. John H. Pribble, and your referee, Frank Sikora. 15 rounds from New York City. He's wearing the white trunks with a black stripe. He scaled 159, one half pounds this afternoon. The former world's welterweight and middleweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. And his opponent from West Jordan, Utah, He's wearing the black trunks with a white stripe. He weighs 159, one half pounds, the middleweight champion of the world, Gene Fulmer. And now, referee Frank Sikora and the instructions to both contestants. All right, stop it. Stop. Ray, who's your chief second? And Gene, who's your chief second? Now, you men received your instructions from the Illinois State Athletic Commission. I'm here to enforce them. Be careful of your low blows. They may cost you a round. In case of a knockdown, I want you to go to your furthest corner and stay there till I tell you to come out fighting. This being a championship contest, the eight count is waived. Is there any questions? Shake hands and come out fighting. Good luck to both of you. Scoring the fight here in Illinois, the five-point must system is used. Five points to the winner of a round, a lesser number to the loser. If a round is thought to be even, each fighter gets five points. Sugar Ray in the white trunks against Gene Fulmer. Last January, Sugar Ray lost a short-lived third term as middleweight champion of the world to this rugged youngster from West Jordan, Utah. And now we're seconds away from the battle that'll send them on their way for a scheduled 15 rounds to renew the argument. In the previous bout, Gene Fulmer kept the pressure on Sugar Ray, moved in tight, 
kept hitting away with uh, either hand or whichever hand was free. Robinson kept a tight grip on his left hand, on Fulmer's left hand, but left the other hand of Gene Fulmer is free to punch. And it was swinging around behind the head and brought the cries of rabbit punches from the Robinson camp. And the Illinois Athletic Commission has notified each fighter that special attention will be paid to punches that even look like they're rabbit punches in this fight here tonight. Both fighters moving cautiously here in the first round. Former waiting to see what Robinson will do. It's been widely guessed that Sugar Ray will use different tactics in his battle with Gene Fulmer tonight. And Fulmer is playing a waiting game pretty much to see what it is that Sugar Ray has in mind. of the first round it appears uh, contrary to the expectation that uh, Robinson would come out storming and try to move the fight to and through Gene Fulmer in the early rounds he is playing a waiting game attempting to counter trying to force Gene the lead by Sugar Ray, but it grazed the jaw of Fulmer. Fulmer was moving in and had the punch been an inch to the left. It could have been a tough one for Fulmer to weather. seconds left in round number one. Those swings of Sugar Ray to Fulmer's head did not land solidly. Ten seconds left in the first round. number three now scheduled 15 rounder the first two rounds were as far as the champion Gene Fulmer is concerned virtually dedicated to pummeling the body of Sugar Ray Robinson it was a rare punch that he threw at the head Robinson has not opened up with anything as yet he has fought in flurries and is biggest style change from the last time these two met is staying back and attempting to counter when Gene Fulmer moves in. left we're in round number three somewhere along the line here Sugar Ray is going to have to go for it and he's trying to pick his spot very carefully to get that first important punch away a warning to Gene Fulmer to keep his punches up 
30 seconds left. Sugar Ray grimacing on the low blow and indicating to Fulmer that it really landed low. It's round number four. Gene Fulmer in the black trunks at the top of your screen to the left. And Sugar Ray Robinson. Fourth round of scheduled 15. And Sugar Ray gets home a good right hand shot to the jaw of Fulmer. This may have been what Robinson was waiting for. He clamps down on Gene. Moves away. May have lost the chance. It was a good right hand shot to the jaw. Landed by Sugar Ray Robinson. Fulmer, who concentrated on the body through the first two and a half rounds, now is trying to deliver that right hand smash to the head with a feint of the left hand. It's sort of a rolling motion to the left with a quick follow up with a straight right. One minute to go in round number four. There we have the feint and right hand again, but uh, Robinson can see that right coming, has been able to dodge it. Ten seconds to go in the fourth round. <laughs> round number five coming up. Incidentally, that Detroit fight will be part of the celebration of Michigan Week. On May 22nd, the governor of Michigan, G. Menon Williams, is in the audience tonight watching this fight. I think the Illinois governor, Governor William Stratton, was scheduled to be here as well, although I have not seen him as yet. right hand landed by Sugar Ray Robinson to the ribs of Gene Fulmer. And Sugar Ray drops Three. Gene Fulmer. Three. Four. Five. Listen to this crowd. Seven. Coming up 
in just a moment. But as soon as that time is announced, we will be interviewing Sugar Ray Riley. seconds of the fifth round winner by a knockout and new world's middleweight champion sugar ray robinson sugar ray hangs it in sugar ray you've done it again and it's a completely remarkable fight. Can you tell me uh, how that punch was set up? Was Jack, it just before you know? I say anything, I'd like to say from the very, very bottom of my heart, ladies and gentlemen, fans of mine who offered their prayers in my behalf, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, it was your prayers that enabled me to be successful tonight. This victory belongs to you and your faith in me and your faith in God. I thank you. I want to thank my mother who's looking in and Reverend Johnson and Mother Howard, all of those who offered their prayers for my, my success. And Du Bois, I'll be waiting for you on the first tee. <laughs> all right, Sugar Ray, you've got a lot of demands on you for pictures. Get with the posing. Tell me what was the punch that nailed it? Left hook. A left hook countering as he came in yeah. and beautifully thrown. Congratulations, Sugar Ray Robinson. Now well, there. as you can see, the center of the ring is still dominated by Sugar Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray, who tonight became the only man to win the middleweight title four times, he still holds true on his remarkable record of never having lost to the same man twice when he had a chance to meet him again. And now uh, Gene Fulmer has recovered and is posing for pictures from the assembled members of the press. And the core of photographers and cameramen and that are banked around this ringside trying to get the shot that and he seemed to be uh, from this corner well ahead of Sugar Ray Robinson as the fight moved along. The notion was here and uh, expressed in about the third round that uh, Sugar Ray seemed to be waiting for an opportunity to throw that big one. We had a uh, look had a very good right hand thrown by Sugar Ray at the beginning of the fourth round. As you remember, as he came out of his corner, he caught Gene Fulmer with a beautiful right, but then Fulmer uh, clamped down on him and be followed up by Robinson. Robinson then went back into his waiting game, meantime taking a pretty sound body beating from Fulmer, but held on until he saw the opening for that left hook banged it home and it was all over in a minute and 27 seconds of the fifth round the unbelievable career of Sugar Ray Robinson continues with uh, Sugar Ray the reigning middleweight of the world. 